Hey guys, Xfox here, and this is going to be, you know, an update on my Tonka truck to RC bash or whatever you want to call it project. So I actually built the, uh, if you guys can see here, I'll take this off. I actually built these brackets a few weeks ago. I was just trying to figure out what parts I needed to do, and I needed to build my XCX10 transmission again, rebuild it. So anyways, I want to show you guys what I did and uh, where I'm at. Yeah, anyways, I want to try and get this thing done probably in the next few weeks so you guys should see a lot more coming since I have all the parts. Now I just need to you know, trim a little more and, and actually get it to work. So you guys can see this is plastic. You know, Again, some of the older ones were metal, so with the plastic, Oh, it's, you know, I don't know, maybe it's a little easier to work with, I don't know. But basically I made some sort of L-shaped brackets here. I went ahead and got this right here, you guys can see. You can get this at uh, Home Depot, I think I got this, it's about like three feet long, three and a half feet long, it was about four bucks. And you can see I got a lot of it left. And it's not that thick, it's like the, uh, I don't even know, an eighth in, I don't even know what that is, real tiny, but again about four bucks. Then I went ahead and got some screws there as well, like in an eight pack. I didn't put them all in because I have to retake it. But you guys can see all I did, you guys can look at the back here, was simply just, you know, cut these down to about, you know, about an inch and a half each, depending on where I was going to put it, drill some pilot holes through, and for now I just tacked them on, which is one bolt, a couple of them at two, just to show you again sort of how I'm going to mount it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have another piece that goes across, I don't know yet. Again, it's, it's just so I want to show you guys my progress. Let me show you what this thing looks like with the axles put on. All right, there we go, guys. I went ahead and put the axles on. And if you guys look, I'm not sure if you guys can see this. Do you guys see how these holes here, I'm, I'm essentially going to try and drill through the uh, the actual brackets and put the screws and have the little mounting brackets on the back. But they are very close to the edge. So I think what I'm going to do is take these brackets and actually push and put them on the inside. So instead of them going on the outside, just have them L on the inside to give me a little bit more room because they can fit, but it's just really, really close. And you guys can see what I'm talking about there. It is right on the edge, but I plan to drill holes down through those and then just, you know, get some locks and just lock them on there. And I can take off some of this stuff because I don't really need those type of brackets. But you guys, you guys can again see the how it's going to be. I might move this, you know, I want a wider wheelbase. So I might move it back, back some here. The middle brace, I haven't even thought about it yet, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to do the same thing. I'm probably going to go ahead and uh, dremel this stuff out right here or cut it out and then put a long, I'm actually probably going to put a long bracket all the way across here or, you know, maybe mount up that uh, sort of the middle metal piece that I had, if I can find it anywhere around here. Oh, here we go. You know, that's going to be somewhere in there like that. So I might have to use a few metal pieces or a few of these L-shaped pieces to get this to mount correctly here, you know. Or in, uh, definitely Dremel some of this stuff out the bottom of here. You know, I was thinking too, guys, you know, just to take the actual metal top and just stick it on an SCX-10, but it wouldn't be the same, right? It wouldn't be the same thing. So anyways, just wanted to catch you guys up with where I'm at. Definitely subscribe if you guys haven't already, and thanks again.